I'm here live with Naeem Alford, one of the top defensive backs in the country on the Five Star Flex. Naeem, what's going on, man? What's good with you, man? Man, good to see you, man. Hey, so, you know, it's my first time seeing you in person. I didn't realize you was that tall. Like, when, like, how do you use your length on the field? Man, to be real, shoot, I just trust my, I trust my body, I trust my limb. I stretch a lot, though. That's why I'm so long, though. So right. I can't say that. <laughs> but, Stay uh, flexible, too. Most definitely. I trust my physicalness and my strength. Uh, I know I got some long arms, so it's like my coach be telling me, start putting hands on them. Yeah. Start putting hands on them. So that's what I, I just trust it. No, nah, for real. So you had a real interesting spring. You know, what, like, what did you pick up this year in the spring, like, as far as that you think you'll be able to, that you will be able to carry into the season? Uh, I'm gonna be real. I say leadership. Um, mm. It showed a lot in the spring game. Uh, it started off at practice, though. I told them boys, um, that was my apologies. Uh, I can't really just come out and just get mad. Just add everybody trying to be a leader now. They got to start at practice. So that's something that I got to build on, working on, and I'm do better at. So besides that, though, I play. I played good. I played yeah. good. I felt like comfortable, but that's just me, though. I'm always. I'm always a comfortable guy. So. What's something that you think you added to your repertoire out like on the field, like not leadership, but something that maybe it's a technique or something that you hadn't been doing in the past that you feel like you added to your game? Oh, uh, man, my feet. My feet yeah. got so much better than it used to be. Okay. I had, it went terrible, but it was something I needed to work on. My feet got so much better. Right. So. How your brother do? So, you know, um, for those that don't know, his brother was an all-conference running back at Tulane. Makai Hughes, all-conference running back at Tulane. What kind of spring did he have, and did he give you any tips as far as your season this year? I mean, he, I mean, by watching him play, you know, he don't really talk that much as much. Um, his his action when he play, he show you then. So, mm -hmm. it's just he, he really humble, um, right. ready to go to the next level. Yeah. Trying to make shoot all-conference again, nothing new to him. Right. So. It's got, it's got to be exciting to watch how he blew up, ain't it? Yeah, it's crazy. He came from Huffman. That's crazy. Right, right. Straight out of Huffman. Man, so Ohio State right now, where you're committed to, they got one of the craziest classes in the nation. Is there anybody else that you want we to join? We ain't done. We ain't done. Who, no, who, we who you done. looking at getting? Like who? No, we ain't done. Like right now, when you go in recruiter mode, Who's somebody that you think about like, man, you know what, he got to come play with me in Columbus. Oh, I'm on all that this weekend. Just letting y'all know that, man. <laughs> uh, DeCorey, I'm going to go get him. I'm uh, going to go get French. Uh, yeah. Was, it's, it's some Bama guys I, I, I'm actually going to attend to go get. But okay. I'm, I'm on them boys, like, hard. Like, I, yeah. ain't, I ain't met them yet, but I met French, actually. Me and French, you know what I'm saying? Me and him, we're going to be on the same team for 707 SFE. But, uh, okay. I'm going to actually, like, get build a relationship with them this weekend. So Okay. All right, so, you know, it's official visit season. All right, so right now, I think we talked about a few schools. What we'll do is I'm going to name a school and just tell me something that you like about the school, and these are the schools that you plan on taking the OV okay. to. Okay. All right, let's start with Georgia. Uh, what I say about Georgia, Georgia's been recruiting me since my sophomore year. Um, it's really mainly been Kirby. It was Fran that was there at first, but, mm -hmm. you know, Fran, he gone, he went to Syracuse. Uh, he was the one that was recruiting me. Mm -hmm. and then uh, Kirby came in the picture. Uh, Kirby loved me. I, I, I believe I'm the one on his board, if I'm not mistaken, like as defensive wise. Uh, he been recruiting me. He be on the coaches' bad. He be telling them that's that's the player I want. Like, right. y'all been not let him like go nowhere. That's, that's right. what I want. Right. So, you know, I be at practice. When I uh, go up there and I see them practice, he make me stay by him. Uh, he stay around me. I was making jokes. Right. He's just a funny guy, I mean. <laughs> and then seeing the new coaches, I mean, T. Rob, I already had a, a relationship with T. Rob when he was at Alabama. Okay. Uh, Dante Williams, I had a relationship with him already uh, when he was at uh, uh, USC, actually. Right. So that was already. Them guys already knew half of them coaches, anyways, from the from the beginning. So, and then also around that, I say with Georgia, that's a defensive team too. Mm -hmm. So like all their coaches, everybody, that's that all that is defense. Right. Kirby came from defense. Right, yeah. So, he, it's something he don't play about is his DBs, his <laughs> corners. So. All right, let's talk about Oregon. Oregon, um, I actually like Oregon. I went up there the, uh, last weekend. Um, really, I knew they was going to have a good facility, so that didn't really phase me like that. But uh, it was really getting to know the coaches, more of the coaches. Uh, Dan Lennon, I already knew him. Me and him, he came to my school. Cool guy. Right. He a really good guy. Connor, uh he a little assistant. He he been recruiting me since, um, and then I just met a couple of more of the DBs, DB coaches, and then uh, 
the players the players actually cool okay the players they, they some real cool guys um but mainly to me i say landon coach landon you're a good guy all right let's stay on the west coast let's go to usc usc i actually just so you remember when i told y'all about george when dante was there so dante was recruiting me so with right. dante being there it kind of had me like yeah i need to get up there so, right but then he ended up leaving so nobody hit me up for a little while then you know uh new db coaches came in uh, came to my school Dub, yep. Yep, he dub, just dub, came. Yep. Uh, he told me he need me, and then the other dude said I'm one of the best players he ever seen. Like, oh wow, in a while, like, right, throwback for real. Yeah. So, talked to him. He told me just he was like, I don't care, bro. He said just get up there. He said I just want you to see how it is. He said if you don't like it, cool. He said just give us a shot. I was like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. He was just speaking some real facts. You got you got to respect said, that. Yeah, I got to respect it because I always I always said I wanted to go up there, so it ain't like. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm like one of the people that want to be like, I don't want to be up there. I don't want to go up there. Right. I always wanted to go up there. So. Okay. All right, let's go Auburn. Auburn. <coughs> <laughs> Man, they've been recruiting me for a long time. Right. Uh, I about know the whole coaching staff. Shoot. Really? I, I used to chill up there. Shoot. Um, be around campus. Yeah. I got this little spot I sit at. Okay. Yeah, it's a little spot I be chilling at. Um. It's like a little peaceful spot. Okay. But besides that, all the coaches though, yeah. I'm cool with all the coaches. Hughes free, you know. Um, they used to have uh, a lot of coaches that came in, but they had left, you know, cause a little situation. But right, it never stopped them from recruiting me though. They've been recruiting me since then, since they offered me. Okay. So. What about uh, Bama? Bama just gonna be Bama. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna try to uh, maybe lead the state. You know how they go. Right. Right. No way. And then last but not least, let's talk about Ohio State. Ohio State. Yeah. They've been recruiting since they offered me from the jump. Yeah. I ain't, I'm, yeah. I'm locked in. I ain't even going to lie. Locked in. They want me, they're going to have to come get me. They're going to have to come <laughs> a little hard. But cause, uh, I'm locked in with them boys. Because um, Duhart, Walt, all of them, they've been recruiting me for a long time. Shoot, right. I got a strong relationship with them. I just got off the phone with them actually not too long ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, people like to say this and that. It's cold up there. That's a bad excuse. You can't use that excuse towards me. No, nah, because if you go to the league, you're going to have to play. Like, you just can't yeah. play in the South. That's, that's a terrible excuse. Right. Then you know they like to just throw a little couple shots that goes around, but man, they, they just like us on high school. They on it's a business right now. Right. It's a business thing. So yeah, with them, I can see myself getting developed, going to the league and bigger things outside of football with them. So yeah, yeah. That's why I just look at the, the best fit for me. All right, who you think won, Kendrick or Drake? Kendrick. Yeah. Oh come on now. Yeah, that was too easy one. Come on, Kendrick. Right. That song. What you think the hardest song? You think um, Not Like Us was the hardest song in the whole thing? Yeah. 1,000%. Most definitely. I ain't even know West Coast guy, He's spitting man. number facts. Yeah, for sure. Like, you had, you, you, you got you got to respect the man who who goes up against, like, the biggest guy in the industry and still even still though Drake, business. Even though Drake is bigger than that. He bigger than everybody, though. I can say that for a fact. But see, he but Kendra still on business, though. Like He, he did. He, he did. did. Like, he I, did. I, 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 like I'm, I'm the type of guy, I like to root for the underdog. So when it started, I wasn't thinking that it was going to go that way. Yeah. But yeah. by the time it did. who the, Like, right now, if you got to choose between Baby and Gunner, who you listening to? Baby. Yeah, that oh, easy. man. By far. I ain't gonna lie, Gunner a good rapper, though. Yeah. Gunner a good rapper. Yeah. But Baby, come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's time can't for go him. Wrong it's time, with Baby. It's time for him to drop again, though. 350? <laughs> Bubba Watson. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. No, you can't sure. compete with that. Hey, right now, your favorite player in the NBA? Steph Curry. Steph. Yeah. yeah. Ain't gonna be my all time, too. So you like so you a shooter when you hoop? Oh no, I ain't no shooter. I ain't even a lot. I mean, I ain't no shooter. But yeah. I, I like Stephen Curry. I just like, I like the way he played, man. Mm -hmm. It just fit my style. He's so cool with it. Right. No, I like that. Who the best right now? If you had to start a football team in the NFL, who the first person you pick? Uh, hmm, that's a good question. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Too easy, boy. You got plenty of sense, man. Now, I ain't working. Everybody find you on social media. Shoot, anywhere. <laughs> 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 I, I, I'm i gonna be for real though. I say probably Instagram though. Okay. What's, what's, on Instagram. what's your Instagram? Uh, Naeem Off. For sure. 